Hey Google, turn on light. Voila, guys. Done set up finally. Ah, Prism Plus. Okay, so at the first, let me drink my Starbucks first. Ah, before I start up these videos. So, guys, my name is Adrian Low. As you all guys also know, I'm a YouTube creator at Malaysia for vaping. Ah, most of my video is vaping. And the second thing is car. Now coming out with tech reviews. Why I want to do so many content give you all? Because I don't want to let all my fans boring ma. Every day keep vape 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 videos. Ah. Sometimes we must change to car vlogging and then tech some, some tech reviews. So in these videos today, I will review about this monitor. It's a Prism Plus X340 Pro 165Hz curved gaming monitor. So before I start to review about this monitor, let me tell you some story first, okay? How do I get sponsor from this? company everyone was wondering why all the youtube creators so easy to get sponsor and then get free products actually not everything we all get sponsored some of the things as you all guys see right here is purchased by my own self before if you want to step in into a tech reviewers or vape reviewers or any reviewers car reviewers you need to waste a lot of things okay cameras monies and then effort you all guys see lah you all guys see i waste over than 20k for all this setup over than 20k and then uh, i use my strength my effort to learn all the computer things ah. some of my fans my viewers ah, they got comment at below you know you better stay at the vape reviews lah don't be a tech reviewer because tech reviewer is not very easy it takes 3 to 5 years for you to learn not so easy I need to tell you all guys first thing disclaimer for the tech reviews I admit that I'm not very clever about all those specs but at least I try to learn the things that I like as my hobby guys my own self learn from google learn from youtube my own self personality assemble everything if you like something just go for it try your best waste your energy only you will get sponsored finally ah uh. By the way guys, so sorry for you all to hear me talking story. Let's continue back with this Prism Plus monitor. So right now, please don't skip these videos. Uh, in these videos today, I will try to review about this Prism Plus monitor with the language that untranslatable. And let's start now. I'm not so sure about this company is from Malaysia or Singapore but I guess mm, as now I'm part of the Prism Plus Malaysia team myself here is some background that I do research about Prism Plus Malaysia lah. they are a leading monitor brand with a passionate fans in three countries Malaysia, Australia and Singapore uh, currently while having their headquarters in Singapore they have invested tremendously to bring the maximum localized experience for our Malaysian gaming fans because uh, as they know Malaysia have a lot of gamers and they have done so far first having a strong partnership with Lazada Malaysia so if you all want to purchase this device instead of going to their website you all can just directly purchase at Lazada because at Lazada they got all the specs as well you can read at that the packaging was okay the shipping was fast they offer ease of purchase for consumers and also fast and efficient delivery by having a warehouse in Petaling Jaya and as I know recently uh, they've been gaining a lot of traction and right now uh, they are Singapore's first monitor brand and Lazada Malaysia first monitor brand uh, with over two 200,000 plus customer across both country lah like example like Malaysia and Singapore and also Australia actually not only these three countries lah they will expand very very fast lah in a lot of countries soon first important thing few monitors that I tried before uh, this is the most I like lah because it's 34 inches it stays at the middle it's wide but it's not very very wide and it's not too small comparison with my first monitor and there is a 49 inches for the Samsung CHG 49 inches you need to tilt your head left and tilt your head right when you play game or edit 
thing is only left and right you cannot tilt up and down so i changed to another second monitor and there's a dell u4320 uh, it's a 43 inches which is this one the second monitor now currently i make it uh vertical it's a little bit crazy guys at malaysia i can guarantee a lot of pc users doesn't use a 43 inches make it vertical because i do search at uh, google and facebook and instagram it's very hard to find a 43 inch vertical uh, second monitor for the dell 43 inches if you want to play game that is only 60 hertz it's good for editing when you play game that time uh, you no need to tilt until your head left very left and very very right because it's square huh? and it's very easy when you look up look down left right it's just a bit like this it's very good for editing but once you step into gaming it's a different things already sudah lain if you playing game example like you're playing warfare uh, call of duty or pubg or whatever games first person gaming yang boleh nampak tangan saja tak nampak orang comparison with this one huh? if you use the 43 inches huh? the life bar at the top you need to look up and then the bullet ammo huh? is at the bottom and then when you every time when you play game that time huh? you must sit very far and then like this you can imagine if you're playing some game like GTA, Grand Theft Auto or either you play Cyberpunk for 5 hours huh, you'll be crazy for the 43 inches and it's only 60 hertz didn't mean that it's not good, it's good as well but it's oversized this one not means that Prism Plus sponsor me I need to say their uh, monitor very very good but as what I can tell you as you can comparison about the size with this 34 inches together with the 49 inches uh, actually it's just smaller a little bit slightly just a little bit at the white and also the height right there I better Choose this 34 inches ha. prism plus actually they got sell the 49 inches as well but recommendation if you are gamers ha, you need dual setup because a lot of gamers they doing live streaming so if you got single monitor it's very hard for you all to set for you all look at yourself uh, at the webcam and also the conversation at your uh, live streaming so i better suggest you all take this 34 inches with another type of second monitor no need until 43 inches lah built in uwqhd and there is the ultra wide quad high definition uh, HD 165 Hertz refresh rate 1 millisecond respond time besides that they got an adaptive sync as well another thing that I like is about the bezel uh, the bezel right there is very very thin among all the square shape right there lagi satu barang is a built in 120% sRGB white color gamut and HDR 400 so that when you gaming that time uh, or watching movie uh, especially uh, gaming uh, you can set to or it provides uh, very vibrant and also the what we call the contrast but some people when they're playing gaming they do like flat images that not very contrast it's okay you can set as well about the cons got one thing that i want to tell you all when you first purchase this prism plus first thing you need to do is you need to set up the color the brightness the contrast and also all the srgb color because as i make a comparison with my another monitor uh, the color actually is quite different a little bit so but never mind it takes you just a little bit time for you all to set at least for the setting they got a lot of setting for you all to set such as the brightness contrast you can set the brightness spec level contrast dcr and then color setting you can set the gamma picture mode color temperature low blue light hue and saturation picture quality setting you all see lah they can set so many things right here lah still got a dynamic luminous control and still got a display audio multi window you can set to multi screen osd and the last section others right here uh, there is an adaptive sync for you all to set on and off and also hdr so inside the packaging they got provide you one adjustable ergonomic stand lah together with the arm is very heavy and it's very easy to set up you just plug and play like this and screw it just a little bit screw like this and they do provide you a user manual as well besides that they got provide you a DP cable instead of the HDMI four long screws for you all in case you all want to change the monitor stand to hang at the table or at the wall huh? they provide you these four screws power cord cable and a little bit screws so when you first purchase that time remember don't take it like this just remember put down at the back of the monitor huh? you receive these things that you can take it out actually it's quite heavy as well and then you just plug it into the monitor stand and screw it there are two screws the top and the middle just screw it tightly and just snap it into your monitor only you take it out the monitor slowly carefully hold by holding the stand and for this monitor actually for the swivel berapa banyak lorang boleh pusing lah ha? left and right up down sang siat so you actually it's not much okay it's just a little bit but you can push down until very very low as you can take a look at the swivel right here left and right like this ha? it's not too many lah just a few degrees like this ha? i'll show you a little bit comparison facing up and facing down it's just a little bit not much 
By the way, about the adjustable ergonomic stand, uh, first thing I don't like is not only this Prism Plus ergonomic stand. Uh, a lot of usually if you purchase a curved monitor, uh, the stand also V-shaped or A-shaped like this. Uh, it's very very waste of space because the stand uh, once put at your uh, table, uh, a lot of things you cannot put. Uh, you cannot decoration very very nice because of the A-shaped or V-shaped stand. So I prefer you all get the monitor arm such as the clamping version at the table one uh, or any different type of monitor arm uh, instead of the original arm lah. So the Prism Plus, not only this monitor, they got coming out with the ArcSales Pro. ArcSales Pro lah. And besides that, the ArcSales Pro, if you want to add on two monitor, three monitor, you all can purchase the ArcSales Pro Dual, uh, which is they got one stand and then two arm for you all. As you can see, you can adjust a lot of different angle. You can turn become vertical. You can turn whatever angle you like. You can push up or down, front, back. A lot of different angle articulation you all can play lah. Uh, play mine. So we is the one that I get is the Axels Pro Dual uh, Dual Arm because I want to try my 43 inches my main monitor become my second monitor and I rotate it become a vertical monitor unfortunately for this monitor 43 inch is too heavy for this Axels Pro Arm the Axels Pro supports the Prism Plus X340 34 inches there is no problem but I'm not sure over than 34 inches is it will longer lah. for this 34 inches is no problem at all as the recommendation from the company the Prism Plus company for this Axels Pro the great is from 17 inches until 34 inches huh? that is okay no problem talking about the arm when you first unbox that time yeah, you will get a lot of things but don't worry don't get headache once you assemble it at your table actually it's not that complicated as you thought it's very very easy just plug and play but if you want to make a customization you can drill a very small hole like a screw size at your table and put it any location that you like uh, just screw it at the middle or at the left or at the right there's no problem because inside the packaging they do give you two types of clamp but for my choice, I want to make it easier, nice and tidy. I just clamping at my table at the end of my table lah. It's more easier. About the arm, actually, it's quite heavy as well. Ha, uh, the stand and the arm is also quite heavy. And for that clamping, clamping things ah, uh, it's also very, very heavy, you know. So for the monitor, there are two HDMI port and two DP port and one audio port. Unfortunately, there is no Type C for you all. Some other brand lah, new monitor they got a Type C. Ah, uh, they're using Type C because a lot of ah uh, powerful, powerful graphic card nowadays they just directly using Type C to type c but for me it's okay actually instead of uh, hdmi we just use the dp it's more powerful so just plug in the dp to your graphic card dp and everything goes perfectly lah besides than that at the back they still got the cover for your all lah ha. but it's very unnecessary lah about the cover lah it just make it look more tidy one thing that i like at the back of the monitor they got the gamer backlight it's not backside it's backlight all right and which is what they call the gamer backlight aesthetic but as you can see my setup right here is not from the monitor light at the back of this monitor i do strip on my own rgb light uh, let it looks more colorful more rgb so the pros and the cons the things that i don't like actually is the button right there uh, at the left side right there the button it's a little bit hard when you want to press the setting because it's located at the bottom uh, a lot of uh, monitor actually also located at the bottom but for this one is a little bit too far away this is just my own opinion uh, hopefully they can make it in front a little bit more for we all very easy to press lah. and the button actually is quite hard a little bit the second thing is not only this monitor i'm not sure a lot of monitor why all the monitor at the back the rgb backlight uh, uh, is not so terang why can't they make it more brighter it's just a light if they can make it more brighter we no need to purchase all the rgb strip already at the monitor and still need to usb to choke at the port right there sometimes it's very hard so if the monitor got built in the backlight right there hopefully they got the features that uh, can control the gaming sound or whatever when you listen to sound or when you're gaming that time or left or right can change color or whatever at least coming out with more unique features to attract all those gamers lah, uh, that those type of monitor freak lah, that like to purchase monitor the build quality is also very very okay it's not that heavy as you thought but at least it got the feel you know ha, didn't seem like all those chiplak chiplak monitor you only use one hand also can take up ready ha, very very lightweight another cons for the normal users lah ha, if you don't know how to set this color ah, the color gamut or game mode or whatever mood mood ah, ah, is a little bit hard for you all to set lah dia punya color masa kurang beli dia ada sedikit lain macam ha, kurang kena set sebab monitor ini adalah 165Hz refresh rate dengan 120% sRGB white color gamut untuk kurang adjust banyak barang dan juga HDR4 
400 so if you all kalau lu orang nak cakap cons lah actually these things is not cons lah you just need take your time patient a little bit and then just set the color to become more accurate or some other people they got purchase the data color there for you all to check about the accuracy of the monitor color but for the pros if you're talking about editing and gaming I very like this monitor very very much if you are an editor if you got single screen one big screen you cannot do so many things as well I choose to use dual monitor because I can take out a lot of things from my Premiere Pro this section is for timeline and another section that I take out is for my sequence and easily monitor my own self and together with the uh, audio right there furthermore you still can search for other information at Google without minimize your Premiere Pro a lot of people see flat screen is for editor Curve screen is for gamers but actually that is not true I do use Premiere Pro and Lightroom uh, at least 34 inch as well there is no problem for me and editing videos Premiere Pro there is no problem as well and what I like about this monitor is when you play game it stays at the middle it's not very wide it's not very very small you don't need to get so far from your own self and you don't need to get so near and another thing that I like is the price range so that I can make these reviews and recommend for you all because it's very very affordable it's not expensive kalau korang nak compare dengan harga monitor yang lain ini kalau berbanding dengan brand brand jenis power-power yang lain monitor jenama prism ini actually mereka dikirakan power jugalah walaupun company baru harga pun power juga tell you all guys power bukan bermaksudnya mahal ha, dia punya harga memang-memang kencal so their partnership with Lazada you all can just go to Lazada links down below more easier for you all okay you all just can go to search at Lazada or besides that any information ha, more details about the Arc Sales Pro or another type of stand or another different size of monitor by prism you all can just go to www www.prismplus.my So that's all for these videos that I want to tell you all, explain to you all. Hopefully you all understand about this monitor. It's a Prism Plus X340 Pro 165Hz curved gaming monitor. So let's come back with another tech reviews next time. My name is Adrian Low Deja Vu. I see you all at my next reviews again. Arigatok. Kamzamila.